Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Joe Figueroa with another video in our series, Anatomy of a Dance, where I break down social dancing count for count, pointing out everything the dancers do. First, let me say thank you to all the subscribers. The support has been amazing the last few weeks, still small, but growing, and that's what matters. This week, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the genius, grace, and technique of these two marbles, Terry and Bercy. If you don't know who they are, you're gonna find out real soon. But before we do, take this chance to subscribe and ring the bell because we're starting right now. Great technique is a funny thing for any dancer. When you do it right, people watching aren't sure you did anything at all. That is what you notice throughout any dance from Terry. He has complete control of every aspect of the dance, especially the music. His grasp of musicality is second to none. Bercy's ability to read any cue given by her partner is noticeable here and anytime you see her dance. She's what I call hair trigger. She responds to the slightest of touch. I always say in class that a good lead could lead any follow, but a good follow can follow the slightest of leads. Terry, however, is anything but slight, so the two of them together is mesmerizing to watch. In particular, notice in this section here where Terry does what I talked about in the last video. The monkey mentality. Don't let go of one branch till you get a grip on the next. He always has some point of contact on her. Always replaces one hold with another before releasing her. Here he is holding her at the waist to create a rock step for her. Kind of bouncing her back and forth between his forearm and fingertips. And reinforcing the movement with his hand on the left side. When letting her out of it, he doesn't even use his hand. Look at how he extends his arm and uses his wrist and forearm to collect her hand. He raises his hand to her tricep and lets it trail down from there to her hand. Makes his hand connection and that changes her direction to face him. Leads her into a double progressive turn, seemingly behind his back, but it's really just over his shoulder. And guys, look at what's waiting for her as soon as she completes the turn. His hand is clear behind his back. Since the other hand is already held, it's easy for her to understand what he's asking for. So she offers her hand to him, giving him the next branch, so he can afford to let the last one go, leading her into another progressive turn, this time a single. Next is a complicated continuous turn, which I'm not even going to get into here. But after it's executed, he lets her hand go at his neck, turns right, picking it up right where he left it, to give her a double right hand spin, loops it over his head, as he tilts left to pass it behind his back. Breaks right, bringing both of his arms over his head quickly during her prep and uses his body to move her past him into an inside turn and goes from that into a 540 degree cross body lead. What? I had to break out a protractor to be sure, but yeah, that was a 540 degree cross body lead in a single count of eight. This next bit comes about 15 seconds later and it's a movement that is done quite commonly, a double right hand spin, but this is led by his right, her left, what some refer to as a crescent turn or crescent spin, but they both are feeling the music. So Terry gives the double, but puts his left hand to her right shoulder as it is coming around the second time, using it to stop her cold, giving a window to style, which Bercy picks up with no problem. She steps into the music and gives a hip roll to go with the horns, simple, and very effective. This part here is just a testament to this lady's balance. I've referred in previous videos about the balance step. In this situation, Terry is about to give her a simple left hand turn in the most common way. But when Bercy breaks forward on two and changes weight to her right on three, Terry spins her almost completely to her left with his left hand over her head, then releases the hand, quickly placing it to her shoulder to bounce her back to her right, like unwinding her from the wrapped position. But what's really cool about it is how Bercy performs both spins left and right without ever changing her weight. She didn't step onto her left and then back to her right. She stayed on her right foot the entire time, even for the stop and drop to go with the music. She stays on her right until she gets to the floor. You don't just do that, people. That has to be learned. You train your body to have that kind of balance. There is so much more in this dance, but I'm going to save some for future content. This should hold you over until the next one. That's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. See you in the next one. And remember, keep dancing.